I was getting ready to do that Power Rangers panel, and I was I was shaking in my boots. You know how nervous I was. I was so nervous. And the last person that I spoke to before going up on that stage, I am so thankful, was John Schnepp, because he turned to me. He goes, what's wrong with you? You are the biggest Power Rangers fan I know, and you know what that audience is going to be filled with? Power Rangers fans, you get up on that stage, you tell them why you love the property they love so much, and they are going to embrace you in an instant. That is exactly what happened. Hey, Perry, what, what are you doing right now, Perry, the real Perry? Oh, I'm just hanging. Yeah. I'm just hanging with myself. That's right. What is, what is Perry, the video Perry, what do you think of what's going on? It finally happened. See, what are you, the Sarah Silverman of, of press people? Why do you say that? You remind me of her. Also, her cross really? with Emma Stone. You never get that? I will ta I will absolutely take that. I like that. You never got them by the first one? No. They didn't have I a baby? Though. They didn't make a baby named you? Hey guys, Perry here, and I've got something that you've all been waiting for. It's a really big review for a much talked about movie. I'm just kidding. It's just the emoji movie. I can finally talk about whatever the heck I want. That must have sounded great in the mic, huh? Whatever I want. I I have a friend. <laughs> this is uh, uh, Just the tip. Don't uh, that, 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 I touch the tip. Get oh over God. it. It's done. There's a sausage behind me. That's how it's going to be this whole show. <laughs> this is a game changer. It completely changes my opinion about the movie. It doesn't at all. I hope I can like contain myself. Or I'm I'm just so freaking excited. I'm going to Star Wars Celebration. It's my first time. I've always been a big Star Wars fan, but thanks to this guy right here, my Star Wars brain is like exploding right now. It's a big steaming pile of and I didn't like it. At Celebration and Perry, a lot of them are volunteering to go in your place because you simply can't handle it. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> it makes me mad. It's nice to know in a future karaoke outing, Perry and I will do a duet version with Elphaba and I'll Glenda. Just, like clap in the background. No, no, you'll be Glenda, I will I be like Elphaba. Karaoke. I think that works perfectly. <laughs> but no. out. Oh God, it's raining. But I got a camera! Perry has sounded very confident all morning about oh. her box office predictions, so Perry, That's we're gonna start off with you. That's why I shouldn't go first. You're gonna cheat. Oh no, we're no, gonna lead off I'm with you. Kidding. All right, I think I got this. I take this very seriously if you haven't noticed. <laughs> yes, I used day. to hide cameras all around Manhattan and then I would jump over cars and stuff. I just kept all those photos to myself. Being a superhero is very <laughs> dangerous. That was, was like the most animated, it. I just caught a glimpse of her. <laughs> It is yellow. There I is. just caught a glimpse of myself in the monitor, too. I was, like, doing a whole little dance to that. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Sorry for podcast listeners. <laughs> I'm a big fan of your dancing. I want a definitive answer who you have the best chemistry with on camera. Dewey. Okay. Son of a... <laughs> that was the easiest question. Nobody can compete with that. I'm, I'm struggling whether or not I should tell this story or not. Do it, tell man. A story, well, tell dude, story. Who you. tells a oh, Megaforce no, story? Do do? The juice. Oh, the juice. Okay, so I've, I've, Perry you, knows you up, I don't know why you just brought up Hanukkah and this came to my mic. I want to go put on a pair of rollerblades with sparklers in my hands and go flying off the top. Okay, so we're oh, sitting around. No. I have never, ever <laughs> been angry at Perry. Perry is like the most perfect thing to have around. Yeah. Like it's that plant that, that doesn't need sun or water. It's just always there, brightens up your room, you know? I forgot to but, water the Perry Get another today. great analogy. But I, but <laughs> I we, were at, we had some kind of staff meeting out there and I can't remember what it was about. And I kind of, I was paying attention to something else and then I clued in. And she was talking about this juice store and they were out of something. I can't remember what the pr problem was. <laughs> But I came in on the on the conversation where she said that damn juice store, and what I heard was I was sitting down. Her said the damn juice store is what I thought. She said. And I like I said, what did you say? She's oh like, my God. What? Juice. And you know what juice shop I'm talking Don't about. Don't throw me under this bus, okay? See, even now it sounded like you said You're that. You're at Creation just as much as I am. I, I, I did go to Creation this morning, 7.15. Got a chocolate lover shake. It's a good juice Oh, that is store. a good one. Uh, I don't know why I told that story. Okay, let's take two more. We have to really enunciate now when we speak. All right. Enunciation <laughs> matters. <laughs> I don't think that a lot of adults are rushing home to watch Rugrats today. <laughs> I might be wrong, Perry. I'm not sure. No, but I, no. It, 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 My one problem with these costumes, and it's cut off in this image. Why is there so much boob armor? You can't. Um, you can't see it right here. But I just see important. the boob armor. Yeah. It's they're very you important. You can't see it in this image behind us, or the one that flashed on the screen before. But. It's it's unnatural, and it was in the other image as well, and that is the only thing that's rubbing me the wrong way. Look, boobs are essential to the survival of mankind, so yeah, you need to have a lot of boob armor. You need to have some protective plates in certain places for the men as well, so I would expect to see them lumbering around with a lot of stuff around their waist, but we didn't get any of that in this picture. 
So I'm going to have to sell We it. need to go and check the other picture to make sure they didn't have extra armor somewhere else. Because if they, I mean, then it's not fair, right? On a positive and happy note, this film is the greatest thing for me because on the one hand, I get to enjoy all the horror comparisons, which I got a big <laughs> kick out of. Yet, with every piece of promotional material I see... It, it warms my heart because yeah. I was a big fan of poo growing up also. And uh, not that poo, that poo. Um, <laughs> I was just waiting for somebody to be like, ha ha, she likes poo or something. I don't know. You know what happens with these things. I will never say no I to a poo I said it. Joke. Now no one else did. And I probably put it in people's heads. Oof. But I like this movie. <laughs> the boob armor is making me think of, you know, in um, Austin Powers when you had the... the <laughs> that is what it looks like. Imagine like, like that's what happens in the movie. Maybe there's a hidden weapon in there. Maybe. We just don't know. Is someone hungry? This must be the kind of satisfaction that grown adults get from cooking meals for real people. The Collider behind the scenes secrets. We're just gonna talk crap about Jeff Snyder the entire time. No, that's not true. But I did beat him in Guess Who, so. <laughs> I did. He knows it too. Wait, are we still going? I thought that was like <laughs> no, the sign off. I was like, wait, what? We could sign off now, because because I did win. <laughs> Maybe the JJ commentary. They couldn't get it done in time for an April release. What if somebody... Really? Was, you I'm couldn't sit JJ down for an hour and 51 minutes... <laughs> Maybe not. ...to talk a little bit Maybe overseas. not. Maybe they couldn't. Maybe, Maybe as far... Look, as far as... The guy... It's The movie it's, came out in December. Yeah. DVD got really... The movie was done early November. We know that. It was right. wrapped and, and locked in early November. November, December, January, February, March, April. In five months, you couldn't sit him down to watch his movie and talk into a microphone. Oh, you never know. Perry... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm in the line of fire right now. <laughs> Those babies are fantastic. But, but like, They're not real babies. The babies are humans, though. Aren't they running? Aren't babies they running are in their diapers? So. Humans, like, set in the live... Yeah, but that's that's why a CGI baby running around is going to look funny in a real-world live-action setting. True. If that's, I, that's purely what they're going to do. We're in the same boat here. I don't think it should happen either. <laughs> Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. I loved you those. loved Batman and Robin. Loved them what? when I was a kid. When I went to my first year in sleepaway camp, you know, a poster hung above my bed, a Batman Forever poster, and I'm so embarrassed to this because I I watch them when they come but on. But you shouldn't you be embarrassed. But that's you as a kid. Like I, I always oh. say, like Batman and Robin. If you were like seven years old, you should like that film because it has colorful and it's like you're not aware of like bad storytelling just Bat yet. Balls. Yeah, or just like certain things that you're like, you know, as Bat an adult you watch it, you're like, oh. Thanks for making me feel better about yeah. that. But I shouldn't put the poster back up, right? You could if you want. If you want to put up the Batman and Robin poster, we will judge you, but you okay. can still put it up. You'll be fully judged. I took French in high school. I was so bad at French in high school that when I had to take the language replacement uh, language placement test in college, I completely like got a zero. Mm. So it left me with a four semester language requirement and I went for Hebrew and it was great. The first two years it was great, but then all of a sudden, you know, people start to drop out because people had less semesters requirement than I did. And by the time I finished and I was in three, four and five, cause I took an extra semester, it was me and a whole lot of people who went to like Hebrew day school School, and I, I was like on that level and they were all I, <laughs> we, used to, we used to get oral exams and I was so bad at it that I would write out my entire exam and I would memorize word for I'm talking yeah. about like a five minute speech I would memorize it word for word and then it would get to the part of the oral exam where the class can ask you questions and because I didn't know what they were asking me I would repeat lines from oh, my, my speech <laughs> One of the worst taste in movies when I saw her office uh -oh. with movie posters. This is what happens when you win the Oscar pool and people are such sore losers. They hang crappy <laughs> posters in your office. I didn't participate <laughs> in the Oscar poll. You happen to have a, a Transformers poster. Transformers 4, hey, more power to you. You love that movie as well as there's a Freddy Got Fingered poster in there. There's all these weird posters. So, <laughs> hey, more power to you. Freddy got, I didn't know they made Freddy Got Fingered posters. It was the only one. <laughs> she stole the only one. JML Leaks, who writes, hi. Oh, they didn't write hi. I just said hi. Hi. <laughs> I instinctually just said hi. <laughs> well, hi. Hi, Perry. Read the email. <laughs> In Jurassic Park, the shaving cream can of embryos was buried. Can you read the question? I'll read the question. In Jurassic Park, the shaving cream can of embryos was buried and never came up again in any of the sequels. Do you think someone will discover it? Or playing an important role in a future movie. <laughs> so How are you my, doing over my there? Problem is that like, you know, when you do something like that and you just keep hearing it over and over. <laughs> yeah, it was great. Hi. Well, I'm sure JML uh. uh, JML dot leaks 
has <laughs> leaked this email to us and is saying hello. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're all girls. It's just like Jurassic Park. Number of cats sold to paw situation? Prostitution. That's not funny. <laughs> I'm sorry. The JK makes it better. Then it's okay. Then it's okay to make a prostitution joke. The movie Brooklyn, when it came out, because I'm not the biggest fan of, you know, like schmaltzy romantic dramas. <laughs> it, it really did not seem like it was going to be my thing at all. And then I saw it and I mean, I fell in love hardcore with this movie. I saw it so many times. And then when I was moving out here or I had just made the decision to move from New York to LA, I saw it again. And then it had this whole new meaning because she moves away from home and it was so scary, but she did it. I think I cried from beginning to end in uh, Frank and Weenie, the latest Frank okay. and Weenie, the Tim Burton one. Okay. I just, <laughs> I know the dog comes back, but he has all the stitches and it made me sad. Handmaid's Tale, because I just watched the most recent one last night oh, yeah. and, and I cried <laughs> last night. Uh, in the theater, though, it was probably Won't You Be My Neighbor. It, it was a, a mix of uh, happy, encouraging, and sad tears mm. all at once. But that was another movie where basically my entire long ride over, you know, some freeway that I don't know what it was. I was just going by the GPS to get home, just sobbing, sobbing. I saw it again and I, I wanted to have, and I know mm. everyone hates the F word, but I wanted to have more fun with it. And I didn't, but yeah, again, a horrible word. I, well, <laughs> I, I've been hearing a lot lately that when you, you know, calling a movie fun is like, is like a cop out, like right. and that's not a review, but I think fun is a really valuable emotion to have when you're sitting in right. a movie. So I, li I kind of like yes. it. I just want my personal prime bubble. I just want oh. to be by myself yeah. in a super comfortable seat with the best projection, best audio. And maybe let, allow cats. Can like I sit with a cat on oh, my you lap? Lost wait, me. wait, wait, okay. You lost me. You're so almost there. Allow <laughs> well, it's my personal prime bubble. Oh, this so is right. This is your my bubble. Cat That's has right. has no effect on you. And then oh. right in front of my seat, I want an Alamo draft house like bar setting mm. where I can put my little shit and get my beer and my pizza. Oh my god. I want I would be very happy in this little bubble. It's nice to dig down and have some fun. Let's spread the use of that F word a little more, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. Thank you for watching this like and share goodbye helicopter. And until next time.